we were responding to the pandemic and the crisis throughout our company, making sure that those people were taken care of and their families were taken care of. And they were coming back to us saying, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Thank you. We got, we're, we're okay, but, but there's a lot of people around us that aren't. And the food banks are, are running empty and, and we need to help there. And, and that was enough for us to kind of get on a quick call and say we need to do something. And last night after the f initial Channel 3 story, uh, I got an e my brother and I got an email from a friend of ours that, that is running a, a company in, in Connecticut who made a significant contribution to, uh, to Food Bank. That's what we're looking to try to spur, you know, and, 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 quite, and realistically, I had no idea how this, this food distribution worked. I never really thought of it, I never really, we'd, we'd supported the, the food banks and food share before, but I didn't really understand that it was the central point of distribution for all the food pantries and soup kitchens throughout Connecticut. It's an incredible uh, infrastructure that, that's really, uh, I mean, thank, thank God it was there. When we saw how massive this issue was, and it was all throughout the region, we realized we needed to take a different approach than what we would normally get involved with either a single donation or donating of time. There was not going to be a, we realized there was not going to be a single gift or a single donation or a single volunteering effort that was even going to make a dent in this. So we decided we'd take a different approach, step out in front, try to kick off an initiative in a meaningful and impactful way, and then call others that were doing okay to join us, help out in our own backyards and solve an issue that is just massive and pervasive throughout the whole region. Thank you.